treasures of this world, uh, the treasures of earth. Uh, I refuse to struggle. Uh, even if it's by my own working, uh, I can struggle uh, because it is by the finished work of Christ. Uh, I am not permitted to struggle. Uh, so the blessings of Abraham uh, are my. Uh, I step into the inheritance, uh, into the promises of God uh, by faith, uh, through faith uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, I step into it now. Uh, begin to take charge. Uh, Rebe de bedosh. Rapatakatosha. In a cola crantosca. Repete ketosha. Requante katosa. Rebe de bedebe de bedosh. Ele pranda shokaya. Remede gede 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 Remosha balagada gada. Remete kete ketosha. In the name of the Lord Jesus, verse 7 of Psalm 111. The works of his hands are a varieties and judgment. All his commandments are sure. In verse 8, thy stand first forever and ever, and, and adorn in fruit and in what uprightness. In verse 9, he sent redemption. Ah, he sent redemption unto his people. He sent redemption. Redemptions were sent to men. It was not by the works of men. Redemption was sent. He sent redemptions. He sent redemption unto his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. He commanded his covenant. It means by this time around we don't just come to the covenant but we are the covenant of God. We today are the covenant. We are his covenant because in us he hid his holy place forever look at what he said commanded his covenant forever holy and reverend in his name holy excuse me and reverend in his name holy he made his covenant in you. You became the temple of the Holy Ghost, the keeper of his covenant. You are no longer coming to make a covenant by mouth. You are not his existing covenant. Hallelujah. Whenever God sees you, he sees his promises. Look at it. He, he, let's read it again. He sent his redemption unto his people. Can you imagine by revelation, Sam, David were able to, to, to see the future by revelation he sensed the promises of God in time in us even when he never it was not his time it means no man is permitted to live without the future by encountering God he encountered Christ David here is talking about Jesus He's talking about the redemption of man through Christ. He's talking about the covenant of God. It is no longer made by stones. It is no longer going to be made by hands. It is going to be covenant made by blood and settled by blood. And after the covenant, he settled his inheritance in you. It means that he do know, you do not need to be the one asking for that inheritance. It means that you are not the inheritance. You are not the covenant God has made. The treasure of this world is in you. That's why the power to burn and to lose in your hand. He said, whatever you burn on earth is what? Burn in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth is what? You lose in heaven. Means It means uh, that he brought the immortality to man and he made the man the immortal. He released his spirit uh, among men. Uh, he, may, he, makes, he gave the authority, the power to cast out uh, and the power to lift up, uh, the power to kill uh, and the power to save her. Uh, he released it to man. Hallelujah. He said, Behold, I give you power to tread upon what snake and scorpions are. Open every power of the enemies. Uh, means all the ability, the personality, the nature of God has been released to you. That thing you're asking for is already in you. Masha Katalaba. Can, can you look at that scripture again? Ah, this place struck me. This part struck me. He sent what? 
redemption unto his people. Redemption. Then he did what? He had commanded his covenant forever. Holy and what? And revenged in his name. It means whenever God sets his eyes on you now, he sees holy and righteous people. He sees his covenant in you. It is no longer made by stones. Do you know what they tell us? It's no longer made by hands. Now you are his covenant walking. You're going to ask God for grace to walk in the revelation of his will. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. Why do we perish? Because we don't know who we are. We don't understand what God, you know what happened? That thing you're crying every day, God give me. God is saying, I've released them inside of you already. Why don't you apply it? It is possible you're having a weapon in your hand and the weapon you're holding it and the enemies are coming to treat you anyhow. But until you engage that weapon, hallelujah, until you engage that weapon, you, you remain powerless and you, unuseful. The weapon that will change creation, that will change your generation has been handed over to you. But it is your choice to take advantage of it. Or it's your choice to sit there and cry. You're going to lift up your voice and say, Father, I receive grace to understand this revelation. The deep things of this redemption. I am not saved. To struggle, I am saved with an authority and power. Hey, I am not saved empty handed. My salvation is not by words, it is by power. Salvation did not come to me by words. I am not redeemed by words, but by power. And by deep covenant of God, I am redeemed with most expensive blood. I am blessed. In the name of Jesus, from today, I fear not, nothing, I fear nothing, because I am the immortality that was in the midst of mortals. I fear not, I walk in the authority. Of our Lord Jesus Christ, I walk in the authority in the right of all our Koshakates. To say to all these things, look at it. To settle everything after he settled this covenant in you, he said, Now the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his covenant. This one now is David after revelation. He not talking as a man. He finished revealing the mystery to come. Now, David was not talking as a man here. He said, Now, in wisdom, he said, Now, in all these things, who you need to fear is God. When you fear God, you will know that you will never bow before man. When you fear God, you will know that you can never fear. You can't fear two things at the same time. You cannot fear God and fear situations. The reason why you are afraid of things is because you are not afraid of God. Look at it. The fear I'm talking about is not the fear of being afraid. It is a fear of love and reverence. Hallelujah. The fear of God here. Yeah. The Bible is not talking about fear being afraid of man or being afraid of something or being scared of something. No, that is not the fear of God. The fear of God, the Bible here is talking about 
about his reverence. It's just like when a child is afraid of his of his parent. You see, even when the child has grown, has grown his parent, his his father will tell him, "Hey, son, sit down there." He will still go and sit. The mother will say, "Hey, sit down there." She will still go and sit. The fear is not because the father can beat him any longer. No, the fear is because I know I love him. I reverence him. I respect him. I like attack. I don't. I can never dishonor my parent because I have. They brought me into the world. I have the privilege to keep their come to keep to keep their word. So you see the child will still say yes, father. We still bow. You know what makes him bow? It's called the power of submission. It is the fear of God that brings wisdom, that brings submission. Anybody who is struggling to submit with God, go check. He does not fear God. Why men come with attitude? They don't fear God. If whenever you see men struggle with wisdom, struggle with understanding, one of the things you see in parallel life, they do things that satisfy them. It is a fear of God that will make you keep his word. When you love your parents, you fear them. And when you fear them, if they say don't touch this remote, you will not touch it. You know why? Even when they are not around, you won't touch it. That's what they call fear. See, when you fear God, your life will become calculatively lived. Then you will, you know what fear, when, we, when the Bible says the fear of God, it's not talking about God coming with rod to kill you. Hallelujah. It's talking about understanding the righteous path and the word of God. Walking in that power of redemption. Walking in the spirit. Hallelujah. He's talking about loving God. The love of God consuming you. He's talking about keeping his word in your heart. Like David is saying, say, let it be written in your heart boldly. He's talking about the word of God being written in you. He's talking about you being the keeper of his word. Let the spirit of the fear of God. He's a spirit, let it come upon me. The fear of God and the love of God goes alike. Rakato kaplata, make it a prayer. prato kapata katos. Let the fear of the Lord, I receive that spirit of the fear of the Lord, to keep the word of God in my heart, to keep the love of God going in my spirit. And I shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your might, with all that is in you. It takes the fear of the Lord to love God. If you don't fear him, you cannot love him. Rebbe, Rebbe, the first of all, you have to love for you to fear. Rima shakalabada. When you don't love, you cannot fear. Rima shakatakatea. Rebbe, 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 Rebbe. It is the love of your parents that makes you fear them. That makes you keep their word. That makes you honor them. It is the fear, the love of God that brings the fear of God. And when you fear him, then you reverence God. You honor God. You don't come to him. You don't act anyhow. You come with reverence. You come with understanding. You come with a deep honor. You will come with a deep fear. With a deep sense. Rebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebedebed
his word. He does not, you know what, the fear of him is what makes you feel like he's there always. You know, when you fear someone, you always feel, look at it, Kai, I don't want to touch this thing, I know he will know. You know what, that's the fear. You know what, that's reference. It's not because you're afraid because he will deal with you. You are afraid of disrespecting him. He's too righteous for you to 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 to, to hallelujah to, to insult. God is too righteous for you to choke to jeopardize with. He's too holy, he's too reverenced. He's reverenced himself. God is too righteous, he's too gracious, he's too merciful, he's too compassionate for you to joke with. In verse 2, he seed shall be mighty upon the end. He that feared the Lord, look at it, and delighted greatly in his commandment. One of the signs of the righteous is they multiply. The blessings of the Lord is released upon them. A father, no father can give anything to a child who doesn't respect him or love him. No matter how that child looks. Hallelujah. You, you know what happened? You, the father would prefer to carry that inheritance and give to a servant than to give it to that kind of child. Hallelujah. So imagine when you reverence God and fear God. You know what real fear is? Like I keep saying, real honor is, is not bless you, sir. It's not daddy. It's not, no, 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 that's not real honor. The real honor is keeping the word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Writing it bold in your heart. Keeping his word. Keeping that word. Can you rise on your feet? Keeping that word. Keeping it boldly in your heart. Keeping it boldly in your heart. You know, reverence, when you reverence somebody, you don't look down on his commandment. You will never look down on it. You will run with it. One word you hear, you will run with it. And you can never fear until you submit. Say, Father, we've come this morning. We are going to make it as a decree in the fear and in the love of God, in the love of Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus, we declare your glory be risen upon us. He said, and his seed shall multiply, shall be mighty upon the earth. I declare that my seed shall be mighty upon the earth. I decree in the name of our Lord Jesus, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. My generation is blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in my house always, and the righteousness endure it forever. My home shall be a place of righteousness. Make it a decree. Remo Shakatalabosha on the door of my poster, on my door poster, and the word of God shall be written boldly. Rema Shakalabada, as is written upon my heart. Reme de 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 Unto the upright, there ariseth light in the darkness. He is precious and full of compassion and righteous. He said, Upon my home, there ariseth light. Right is arising from here that we encounter every works of darkness. Let the light of the Holy Ghost arise from here. I will let it encounter every works of darkness, every darkness hidden around my life. Let the works, let the light of the Holy Ghost, let it arise out of this place. Quench every form of darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every plans of the wicked uh, every plans of the wicked uh, against my destiny uh, let it be destroyed uh, let it be destroyed uh, let it not be seen uh, every works uh, every plans of men uh, contrary against your will for me uh, let it be destroyed uh, let it be 
destroyer for upon my life upon my household there shall be holiness the light of the Holy Ghost is springing upon this place a light of God is shining even in the midst of darkness the light of the glory of God upon my household it is shining now No weapon formed or fashion against me shall prosper. For any tongue that rise up against me in the judgment, uh, I shall condemn. Uh, begin to declare the condemnations uh, against every thought, against every weapons, uh, against every words, uh, rising up against my destiny. Uh, they shall not prosper. They shall not succeed. Uh, every forces of darkness uh, rising up against my destiny. Uh, in the name of our Lord Jesus, uh, I destroy them now. I declare shall not stand. I declare shall not stand. Every negative word, every negative order, every negative covenant, because I am the covenant of righteousness. Every negative inheritance, every negative plan, it is hereby destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it is hereby destroyed. I For the Lord is with me. I shall not be moved. For the Lord Lord is with me. I shall not fear. For the Lord is in me. I shall not be dismayed. I am the righteousness of the center. I am walking in righteousness. Every plans of the wicked. It is hereby rodified by fire. Rakata katoska plata katosha. Rekete kete kete ketosha pata. Rapata katoska plata. Rapata katosha plante katas. Rebe de bele bele gede 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 bosh. Entra kalapanto kaplanda. I am a Christ like. I am the righteousness of the saint. I am the bless of the Lord. I am the bless of uh, if the Lord be with me, who can be against me? Allah uh, brande kalabosha. No one can be against me uh, because the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, uh, for He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Uh, he led me beside the sea waters. Uh, he restore my soul uh, from every wickedness, uh, from every plans of the evil, uh, from every dungeon. Uh, he led me behind the still waters uh, and He restore my soul. Uh, he led me part of His righteousness. Uh, for his name's sake, even though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of the dead, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. The hand of God is upon my life. For the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to hear the broken hearted, restore sight to the blind, he that are abused by the devils, to set the captives free, and to preach your seven double years of the Lord. I am I am the righteousness of God. No evil can stand. No evil can stand around my life, around my environment. No witchcraft can survive. No plans of the enemy can stand. A thousand by my left, ten thousand by my right. They will never come near me. Because he that is in me is greater than the devil in the world. Every plans of men, I command it to rodify by fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus. If the Lord be with me. Who can be against me? No one.
for I am complete in Christ Jesus. He that is the head of all principalities and powers. I am complete in you. I am the head of all powers. So I command all powers to be subjected. Every part of the enemies are commanded to be subjected. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Every arrows. I return it back to the pit of hell. I return it back to sender. Every arrow shot against my destiny. But against anyone that is connected to me. Every arrow of darkness. Every arrow of limitations. Every arrow of poverty. Every arrow of backwardness. I return you back to sender. Every arrow of yes success syndrome. Every arrow of sickness. Every arrow of limitations. I shot you back now. I shot you back now. I return you back now. Back to sender. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Back to sender. Back to sender. Rabba. I am the fullness of Christ. For I am the fullness of Christ. For Christ in me is the hope of all glory. I am glorified in Him. I am For I am the Christ. I am the righteousness of God. I am the bless of God. I am the covenant of God. I am a mobile blessing. I am walking. Doing good. I am walking, doing good. I am anointed to do good. I'm anointed to do great things. I'm anointed to change my world. I'm anointed to rule. I'm anointed to save men. I'm anointed. I am God among men. In the name of the Lord Jesus. For I am walking in the Holy Ghost. I am filled with the Spirit of God. I am filled with the Spirit. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am filled with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I am anointed to do good. I am I am filled with power. I am filled with the glory of God. I am The eyes of my understanding is enlightened. I am walking in the wisdom of God. I am walking in the wisdom of God. The light of God is in me. The glory of God is seen in my life. I am the glory of God personified. I am the glory of God personified. I am the light of the world. I am the walking light. 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 I am the walking glory. 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 Alaba Laba, I live in glory. I exist in the glory of the Lord. I exist in glory. Alaba Daba Dabosh. I declare all things work for my good. Now all things are working out for my good. All things are working out for my good. Everything is working for my good. All things are working for my good. Now all things are working for my good. Rebadabadabadosh. All things are working. All things, I mean all things. Everything is working for my good. Rabadabadabadabadosh. Equalabadosh. I am triumphing. Over every battle, I am triumphing. I triumph over every forces. I triumph. I overcome. I overcome. We overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, also by the words of our testimonies. I overcome over. I overcome every battles of life. I overcome now, for we overcame him. For I have overcome. Ah, I think the correction. It is that I have overcome. 
every powers of darkness I have overcome every works of man I have overcome every limit of life I have overcome every works of life I have overcome every situations of life I have overcome every face of life I have overcome every treasures of life I have overcome I have overcome I have overcome already it is settled I have conquered every battles of life I have conquered every battle of every, every battles of life I have conquered the battle in my next 70 and 100 years I overcome the battles in my next thousand years. I overcome the battles of my children. I have overcome the battles of my great grandchildren, my grandchildren. I have overcome already the battles of my one thousand generations to come until Jesus, and uh, as uh, as far as Jesus tarries, I have overcome already the battles ahead of my calling. I have overcome already the battles, the challenges tagged against villas of glory, the new one generation. I have overcome already the battles in my companies, in my upright airlines, upright real estates, upright industries. I overcome. I have overcome the battles ahead. I have triumphed already against the battles ahead. The companies are established. The ministries are established all over the world. The millions, 10 million souls, 100 million souls crusader, one stand crusader. I have overcome those battles ahead. Every governmental battle I have overcome. Every satanic battles I have overcome. Every battles of men I have overcome. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every battles of life I have overcome. I have conquered all. All things are conquered for my sake. Jesus has conquered it all for my sake. Jesus has conquered it all. Now I have overcome. Yes, that is it. Jesus has conquered it all. Now I have overcome. Jesus has conquered it all. Now I have overcome. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God. 